morning we're going to make some kites which as it's pouring with rain here it's a bit of a shame really <laughs> but I do understand it's supposed to be a bit more windy in the week so maybe this might be of use certainly there must be windy days that will be able to work with our kite so you need your piece of paper we need to make it sort of a kite shape first so I'm going to fold my piece in half and then about you can just roughly guess really but you know we want to make a diamond shape so about a third of the way down the page you can fold your piece of paper again and then that should give you your lines so that you can use your ruler and draw from one fold to the other fold and then the same the other side from point to point if you like maybe and then from that point to the middle and the same from that point to that point so you end up with your kite shape now if your child is just ready to start decorating now, you can make this after, like uh, we do with lots of things, they can decorate it and then you can cut it to the right shape, that's no problem. But this is basically how you do it. And then to make the framework, or even like that, see my, my stick will fit on there like this, my other stick will fit like that, and you need to attach them together using some string or some sellotape and in this case I'm going to use sellotape so let's get this bit done my son's cooking some eggs that's why you can hear the fire alarm going off if it continues I might have to go and rescue him he is 17 but that doesn't always mean anything. Right, so I've got my two pieces together and I'm going to use some sellotape to attach it together. There. This bit is quite fiddly, but there we go. It does end up fairly sturdy what you just have to do is kind of try and make sure it's roughly the right size for where you've drawn your lines on your kite like that and then when we finish decorating our kite we can attach our frame to the piece of paper but the first of all let's do some decorating now I found some stickers 
with lots of flying things. So I found some rockets on that one and then different types of rockets on this one and even more rockets but stars as well this time on here quite liking these but i also have some aeroplanes and helicopters and some little spacemen and space ladies and i've got some letters here because I want to write my name on it. So I'm going to do that first and I'm going to put that in the middle. Now bearing in mind that obviously the side that you're going to decorate it is not the side you're going to stick your frame to. So just make sure you know which way around you want to do that. So I've got an S. H. And. Um, a. Oh, I didn't. I wanted my A to be a different colour. Never mind. Oh, I've got some other letters here. Are they slightly different or are they the same? No, they're the same. So an A. S H A. R. Oh, green. R. O. Actually, I quite like that. Sharon. I think it's back to front on yours. But I quite like the fact that it's got my name on it. And then... Then I'm going to do some... Aeroplanes down this side. There's one. A nice white one here. Oops. And I think I might find a helicopter. Yep, helicopter. All things that fly in the air. And, oh, hot air balloon. I'm going to put a couple of them going up the side, I think. Another hot air balloon. It also, unfortunately, looks slightly like a light bulb. And another one there. we got like a jumbo aeroplane there it goes and I forget what these are called they're a strange name aren't they yeah, they're sort of called an airbus but they're also called something else I should put that one on. and I think one more aeroplane yeah I quite like that one aeroplane there All right and then I think I'm going to start with my astronaut people. They're going to sort of be flying around the middle. Because we sort of have our sky and then it turns into space where the rockets and such are. Some rockets up there, there's one. I do love stickers so much. Any opportunity to have a good go at some stickers. Right, let's put another rocket and some like unusual space vehicles. Put them on there too. What's on my other rocket one? Oh, these are really nice, colourful rockets. Look. So I think I'm going to use a green one. And a nice white one. This one's just setting off through the sky up towards space. Uh, and a yellow one. Oh, yeah. I think the yellow one can go right at the top. And I think I've got room for one more sticker. I think we should have a person again. Let's have a person again. Oh, and some stars. Let's have a person. People that they are. Have a person floating around in space with some stars. Oh yeah. So 
is going to be a really nice, bright, colourful kite. I could say it's unfortunate it's raining today, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. And it's a bit windy. Obviously, it's not going to go high, high because it's just made of paper or card. But I think the the uh, secret is really some more stars. The secret is really within how you do the string. So we'll look at that in a moment. Hi, if you're watching on Catch Up. Do you know, although it is raining, what's quite nice, especially at the moment, when we don't always sort of think to do it normally, is to be able to go outside with our wellies and um, our raincoat on and go splash around in the puddles. Right. Are there anything on my other stickers that I want to add? Oh, we've got boats and motorbikes and lorries and diggers and cars and smiley faces some lovely things maybe i need some more aeroplanes it all looks busy in space it doesn't look so busy on my sky bit well like i say we're going up into into the space through the sky but we need a couple more of these planes. A plane? I need another helicopter as well. We don't want it to be on its own. There we go. And another Airbus. Don't see them very often, do we? Right. And what I might want to do, although I probably would want to do it with a crayon, which are upstairs, I would maybe make this bit blue because this is my sky bit, and that bit black because that's my space bit. And yeah, I've only got felt tip. I think I might, after we've finished putting the kite together and before singing time, which I hope you're going to join me for, I might use them then. And then I can show you at, at singing time how I've done it. I'm now going to cut my kite out. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel then you won't be able to see I know I could add I could add the a picture of it at the end of my video actually of it made because you wouldn't see the singing bit necessarily all right so I'm just cutting out my kite Right, and on the other side is where I'm going to stick my frame. But first of all, we need, and I think I'm going to do it that way. Anyway, first of all, we need to attach the string. So you need a piece of string that's going to go on here, on here, and on here. The same length. So I'm going to do, let's see, let's give you some kind of measurement. I'm going to do about 15 centimetres. I'm going to make them. So I'm going to do 15 centimetres, but I will need a little bit extra. So that I've got a bit that's going to tie on the end and then I'm going to secure, I'm going to tie it on and then I'm going to secure it with a bit of sellotape to keep it there. Now it all depends I guess on how big you make your kite. So although I've just told you 15 centimetres that's because I know that it's going to, it reaches the middle and I'm going to have another bit here and another bit here in a minute and we're going to tie them together and then I'll tie the long bit on. Okay, so hopefully that kind of makes sense. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to measure it to about 15 centimetres and then add a bit more because of tying it on the end. 
tie it to this one. Although my children are much older, we are going for walks and things. So uh, I may have to convince them that we need to try this out on one of our walks on a windy day. Because I'm, I'm, I wouldn't have made my kite not use it. Right, and the next one. Uh, right, and let's tie that on here. Can you hear the rain? It's really raining now. There we are. Right, now let's just check my instructions. Do we need four or three on there? Because I know that our string can go like this, but does it actually need the fourth one? Let's just double check. Instructions aren't always the most helpful things. If I put a fourth one on, I think that would work well. So let's tie that one in here. There. So all my bits of string are going to come to about the middle. like that and then I'm going to tie them this is another fiddly bit you know when you get string and you can obviously you can make your strings longer when you're making it if you think that this is looks too fiddly but obviously you don't want it too loose from the frame one two three four so can you see i've now got this so when it's attached to here which is what i'm going to do next and i'm going to use some sellotape for that you can find lots of instructions online on how to make kites uh, so easy to google it there's lots of different ways so i'm going to sellotape my framework do not do not accidentally stick down your bits of wool or string you just want to attach the sticks or the bits of cardboard that you've got to enable it to still fly so I've now put bits on two of my bits of stick a bit more and I will hold it up and show you how I've done there we go so down that side and then one more like I say making sure I don't accidentally stick the wool down Right, can you see? This is my decorated kite. I've attached the two bits of stick together with some sellotape in the middle, and then I've used some sellotape here to attach the stick frame to my paper. And then I've tied on the little bits of wool on each of the corners, and then tied them together in the middle. I'm going to put some tape over those over those knots to just make sure that they're nice and secure. We don't want them to slip off when we're flying. Like I say, just try and make sure that you don't go too over the the, the, the end. So look, I've just put it over just up to the knot. So that I've still got my piece of wool hanging nicely. One more. There.
right so I've still got my string and then we attach some string to the end with a nice big ball of it however long you want it really to your thread that you've already got there or your wool your string and I'm just going to do a knot on there like that down a bit make it a bit neater there and then you're with your sticks it's also a bit of a framework so that you can throw it up and hopefully it will float in the sky like I say well it might not go high high but it might be just enough to get it up off the ground now you can put some nice tails on kites they often have tails don't they you can do that before you finish making your kite if you like I'm going to put some of mine. I've got some purple here and some green. There, that's purple and some green. So I'm going to use some sellotape again, or you could use Pritt stick. Online, if you find some other kite designs, some might suggest quite big ones using like um, bin liners. I've seen that being used before as well. And what else have I seen? Using plastic bags, I suppose it's really the same. But like I said earlier, you could use card. There's one tail. another one just there ah it's really raining heavy now help my sunflowers to grow tall won't it that tail on I'm going to put another purple one here and then I'm going to put one green, more green one on just there I've really enjoyed this I do love stickers stickers are so good to be and useful there we go they're so good and useful because they're easy to take places young children can often do them themselves um, you can make pictures out of them you can decorate so many different things with stickers they're just fantastic and they're quite inexpensive so i bought this box yesterday which had all of these in as well I had all of those in for two pounds i bought all of them from for um and where did i buy them i bought them at works but the pound shop have them Often your little news agents as well can have stickers. So if you're not going too far and wide, sometimes your little corner shops or your news agents will also sell them. And that 